So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful evening, cold but beautiful. I want to mention before I get started with today's video, uh, yesterday we published a video showing all the winners from Woodstack 2018 and I failed to put uh, Gene's picture in for winning the get her done category. Sorry about that Gene, so I'll put his picture here right now. So yeah, that was Gene's picture. He won the get her done group, did a fantastic job. But anyway, today's video, I'm gonna go cut a little bit of firewood, but I wanna show you something before I do. Like three days ago, I had every leaf out of this yard. And there's still more to come. So I only have about two hours and it's gonna be dark, but instead of blowing leaves right now, I kinda of feel like cutting some firewood. It's such a nice night, so I'm gonna go do that and then come back and blow some leaves, probably end up with a headlamp on, getting them all out of the yard, because I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow, so it'd be good to get that done. But anyway, I'm gonna show you kind of how I go get firewood when I don't have a whole lot of time, and it's just a good, easy way to get out in the woods. I take the bare minimum, you know, tools with me, go whack up a load of wood, come in, call it good. So when I don't have a lot of time, like right now, and I just feel like cutting a little bit of wood, I'll just take the ranger out, Plus tonight it's uh, pretty wet out there in the woods. Uh, the Ranger's a little bit uh, more low impact than the tractors. And uh, so I'll just run out there in the Ranger, take the 362, log ox, fisters, that's pretty much it. And I won't even take my Mingo marker. I'll take a uh, tape measure, some sidewalk chalk, and uh, I'll go get a load of firewood in about a half hour. Those turkeys? There's like 20 of them. I don't know if you can see them over there. There's turkeys everywhere. Yeah, there's 15 or 20 of them over there. The other night I was out deer hunting, I saw six longbeards. Those guys kind of hang out together. And there's this flock. Here, we see them around once in a while. There might, well, there's a bunch of them. Probably can't see them too well with this camera, but uh, when I edit, I'll be able to zoom in a little bit. But anyway, let me get back to cutting some wood here. Actually get started. This area here is where I, uh, I built that new section of trail this past summer. I just got a little bit of wood along the sides here. Not a whole bunch. And this winter when it's frozen, I'll come back here with a tractor and a grapple and uh, clean up these brush piles along the side. But it's getting that time of year where work in the woods you know you're almost better off just waiting until it freezes now right underneath these leaves that's what's left of that grass that I planted that's why I just left the leaves on it but it's just it's pretty wet pretty muddy anyway I'm gonna get started Maybe I'll cut up this little oak tree right here got a couple cherries down this way cut them up too get a load in the ranger. Thank you. 
So I left the house about 45 minutes ago and I got a full load in the Ranger, which it's not a whole lot of wood, but it equals about one sixth of a cord, you know, about half of a face cord. And really I can normally get that done in about a half an hour, but moving the cameras around, things like that, it takes extra time. So about a half hour, a sixth of a cord, not too bad. So in evenings like this, when I don't have a lot of time and I just want to bring the bare essentials out, not spend a lot of time, I always bring a tape measure, some sidewalk chalk to mark everything because I like my firewood 16 inches in length exactly. I'll bring the log ox and a chainsaw. And that's pretty much it besides uh, PPE. You know, I have my chaps and my helmet, gloves, all that stuff. But as far as tools, that's really all I need to come out here. And you know, if something happens, I, I hit a rock or something like that, the house is five minute trip in the ranger. So really all in all, out back less than an hour, it's not too bad, uh, you know, just doing it this way. It's a pretty good way to spend the evening as well. Beautiful evening, got to see some turkeys, cut some wood, breathe some fresh air, doesn't get any better than that. Also, I wanna thank everyone that uh, participated in Woodstack 2018. Even if you didn't submit any pictures, everybody that voted, all the companies that donated prizes, it was a really nice thing and uh, we had a lot of fun with it. Now don't get me wrong, I'm glad it's over. It was a ton of work going through all the pictures, all the votes putting it all together, but for the first time, I think it went very well. Uh, next year, you can start preparing for that right now. I got some ideas ideas to kind of simplify things a little bit. But yeah, it was a great time. And also, I wanna thank everybody that watches this channel. I don't do that often enough. I'm telling you, this thing, it is blowing my mind. Uh, in the last 30 days, we had like 1.2 million views or something like that, gained 5,000 subscribers and uh, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad with everybody's involved in the comments and uh, we're having a heck of a good time. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.